Alleluia, the Christ is risen, the Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia, the grace, mercy and peace from our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to start the service by giving thanks and praising the holy name of the Lord God Almighty, our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, in the words of Psalm 67. Glory to you, O Christ. God be merciful to us and bless us and cast his face to shine upon us, Salah, that your way may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen to that. Our first hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is Waymaker. Amen. Oh, 
Jesus Christ taught us our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever forever and ever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high. Alleluia. God raised Christ from the dead and enthroned him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. God put all things in subjection beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church. We died and our life lays hidden with Christ in God. We set our minds on things above. When Christ, who is our life, is revealed, then we too will be revealed with him in glory. Christ has gone up on high. Alleluia. Jesus is our high priest, tempted like us, yet without sin. He lives forever in heaven to intercede for us. Through him we approach the throne of grace with confidence and confess our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word is a light to our path. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Let us therefore in a moment of silence confess our sins before our Heavenly Father and our Saviour Lord Jesus Christ in penitence and faith. The Lord enrich you with his forgiving grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offenses for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, almighty God, that like as we do believe thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we may also in heart and mind little ascend and with him continually dwell, who lived and reigned with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is from Acts chapter 1 from verses 1 to 11. Glory to you, O Christ. The former account I made, O Theophilus, 
of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up, after he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive, after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, it is not for you to know time or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Now, when he had spoken these things, while they watched, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will also come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. This is the word of our Lord. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Our second reading is from Ephesians chapter 1 from verses 15 to 23. Glory to you, O Christ. Therefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him, who fills all in all. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. This is the word of our Lord. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ was revealed in flesh, proclaimed among the nations, believed in throughout the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Christ. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem, until you are endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass, while he blessed them, that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, 
and we're continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. This is the word of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ. Amen. May I speak in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. On 26th of August 2018, I dreamt I was at the bottom of a huge mountain that I needed to climb to the top where the station was, which I have done. I have seen long ropes at the station. Then I saw myself coming out of a graveyard and standing in front of a very narrow rope bridge. The ropes did not look strong enough at all. And while I was thinking it may not hold me, somebody went on it to cross. It seemed totally fine. The guide who was ancient was standing on the other side of the rope bridge said to me, take the Bible in your hand and walk. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. And this is what I do to this day. I take the Bible in my hand and walk every day. Amen. You know that the guide was the Holy Spirit of God and the biblical meaning of Rob is our lifeline connection with God and walking with him by the power of his Holy Spirit in us, with us, through us. Amen. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. The sun shall not scorch you, for I am your shade. I am your banner. I will surely deliver you from the hands of the wicked and the vile. Since the creation attributes of God clearly understood, clearly made known to all. O ye servant of God, stand strong. Keep the holiness all the days of your life. Righteousness of God is in you. Do not fear, stand strong before all. For I will surely deliver you, declares the Lord. I will bring all to an end for you. Keep going in the faithfulness of God forever. Amen. I, the Lord, keep you in me for the redemption day and forever, for I live in you. Amen. I, the Lord, has decreed you are flying through the valley, not by walking, not by running, but by flying. For surely I will deliver you. For surely I am with you. Amen. Your warfare is coming to an end. Your warfare has ended. The warfare of the righteous has ceased on the day of the cross. For the Lord goes before us and we win all our battles against our enemies. Amen. You shall receive double honor upon your life and the glory of God be upon you all the days of your life. I prophesy for you to keep going in the midst of the most unexpected circumstances that threw you off the balance. Yet you are unshakable, unmovable, for the Spirit of God resides in you. You have seen the glory of God upon your life. You have kept the faith evermore. When these days are over and you are exalted for your works, take all those whom are with you in your journey and set a union of believers whom wrongly accused by the authorities for their belief in me. For the days are evil, declares the Lord, be vigilant, keep it strong till the end. The end is victory for all whom ever suffered at the hands of the evil doers and the crooks of this generation. I shall bring you out of it all for the glory of God the Father and me. For I am the Lord who is with you. Amen. I the Lord is making the way to the most wonderful future for you. For you are going to be made up beyond your expectation, beyond your imagination, for I, the Lord, live in you. I shall bring to pass all the desires of your heart forever. Amen. The news of the joy and rejoicing on its way to you. I am before you. I am after you. I am all around you. Keep it strong. Stand strong. The Lord is here in your heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that, for the glory of God the Father and the Son, amen. Our second hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is House of the Lord, amen. Yeah. 
We worship the God who was. We worship the God who is. We worship the God who evermore will be. He opened the prison doors. He parted the raging sea. My God, He holds the victory. We shout out your praise and joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place and we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. We sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. As he hung up on the cross, then he rose from the grave. Sing the rolling stones away. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. There is joy in the house of the Lord. There is joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. The beggars, now we royalty with the prisoners. That we run in free, forgiven, accepted, redeemed by His grace. We're beggars, now we're royalty. We were prisoners, now we run in free. We are forgiven, redeemed by. We shout out your praise. There is joy in the house of the Lord. There is joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be crying. We shout out your praise. There is joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be crying. We shout out your praise. There is joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is so we shout out your praise. We shout out your praise. We declare our faith before our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, in the words of Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Of all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. 
Amen. Let's pray to the Father. Blessed are you, sovereign God, reigning in glory, clad in deep darkness, proclaim your holiness. Radiant light shows forth your truth. Jesus has entered the cloud of your presence. He has taken his seat at the right hand of majesty. Perfect sacrifice, he has put away sins. Merciful high praise, he pleads for our weakness, always our brother. He prepares our place in heaven, ruler of all. He establishes your reign, dawning light for the righteous, hope of sinners. Blessed are you, sovereign God. High overall. Amen. In a moment of silence, let each of us make our own private prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father and our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Peace of the Lord always be with you. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour, by the power of the Holy Spirit who took flesh and as your son, born of the Blessed Virgin, was seen on earth and went about among us, he opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. And now we give you thanks, because after his most glorious resurrection, he openly appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended up into heaven to prepare a place for us, that where he is, there we might also be and reign with him in glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we magnify and glorify your holy name, O Heavenly Father. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Most High, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these your gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. Thank you, Lord. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. Thank you, Lord. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, 
this perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of all, rejoicing at his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. We bring before you this bread and this cup. We pray you to accept this our duty and service, a spiritual sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through him from whom all good things come, Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. I heard the voice of a great multitude crying, Alleluia! The Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb, Alleluia! 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 Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Alleluia! 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 Let us keep the feast, Alleluia! Bread of heaven, in Christ Jesus. Amen. Cup of life, in Christ Jesus. Amen. Eternal giver of love and power, your Son Jesus Christ has sent us into all the world to preach the gospel of his kingdom, confirm us in this mission, and help us to live the good news we proclaim through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You choose us to be yours before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless in your sight. You have blessed us in Christ Jesus. In love, you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ. Such was your pleasure and your purpose. To the praise of your glorious grace, which you have freely given us in the beloved, you have blessed us in Christ Jesus. We have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of the grace which you have freely lavished upon us. You have blessed us in Christ Jesus. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of your will, according to your purpose, which you revealed in Christ Jesus as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. You have blessed us in Christ Jesus. Amen. Christ our King, make you faithful and strong to do his will, that you may reign with him in glory, and the blessing of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Now to him, who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or conceive, by the power which is at work among us, to him be glory in the Church and in Christ Jesus, through all ages. Amen.
You call my name. 